Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number 30 in Microsoft Excel. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to add and delete worksheet tabs within your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. We'll also learn how to rename your tabs within Excel so that each tab will have a definitive name so you know what each tab is designed for. The advantages of doing all of this will be that worksheet tabs save you time by combining multiple spreadsheets in one location, making sure that all of your files stay together. So let's go into Excel and I'm going to show you how to add, delete, and rename your worksheet tabs. As you can see, I've gone into Excel and today I'm going to show you how to add and delete worksheet tabs down here at the bottom of your spreadsheet. Worksheet tabs are nothing more than individual worksheet files that you've created within Excel. Say that you had two worksheets that you wanted to create. You could create your first spreadsheet by going into Excel, building the file and then saving it, and then exiting Excel, then going back into Excel, creating your second spreadsheet, saving it, and then exiting. The only problem is that your files are not together and you'll have to exit and enter Excel numerous times to work on these two files. You can have as many worksheets or individual files within one version of Excel that you want. So if you wanted to create 300 individual worksheets, you could keep them in one location just by creating 300 individual tabs. Again, each tab is its own worksheet. So to add a different worksheet or a new worksheet to Excel, what you'll do is you'll move your mouse down where all of your tabs are, and if you just start Excel, you should probably only have one, two, or three tabs in there already. So your Insert Worksheet tab will be located to the right of your very last tab. So my last tab is Sheet 3, so the next thing will be my Insert Worksheet, which may be a little bit difficult to see, but when I move my mouse over this little tab, it says Insert Worksheet. So watch what will happen whenever I click on it. You see that it added sheet number four, and if I click on it again, it'll add sheet number five. So you could just individually create as many worksheets as you want. So that's how you add worksheet tabs. Now let's talk about deleting them. Deleting worksheet tabs can be very dangerous because once you delete a tab, it's gone and you cannot recover it. So if I wanted to delete sheet five, I could just go in here right click on it one time then I can move my mouse up to delete and watch what will happen. My sheet 5 has now been deleted and it didn't prompt me because there was no information within the spreadsheet. So if, it, if there's no information to uh, worry about Excel will just delete the sheet and not prompt you. So you can see sheet 4 has no information, sheet 3 and sheet 2 are blank. But if I go to sheet number 1 and if I wanted to delete this sheet Again, I would right click where it says Sheet 1 and then go up to Delete. But this time, since there's information within this spreadsheet, watch what it'll tell me. It'll say data may exist in the sheet selected for deletion. To permanently delete the data, press Delete. Now once I press Delete right now, this information is gone. And if I save the file or save the information and get out of Excel and go back in, I will not be able to recover that sheet. There is no recovery tool within Excel once you delete a worksheet tab that had information in it. So the only thing that you would be able to do is to just re-enter the information. So be very careful when you delete worksheet tabs because once they're gone, you cannot recover them. Now let's say that I wanted to work on a file for my employee database and I wanted to call it test instead of calling it sheet two. I can rename this tab by just double clicking where it says Sheet 2 and it'll highlight the information within the tab. Then I could go to my keyboard and I could just type in the word test. And as you can see when I hit enter, the word test has been entered in instead of sheet number 2. So you can rename each individual tab to whatever you want and I would recommend that you give each tab a descriptive name so you'll know what each worksheet within that tab is going to represent. So that's how you add, delete, and rename worksheet tabs within Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel 
by clicking on the subscription button located at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.